Perhaps you have clicked on this video because of the beautiful pasta dough in the thumbnail. Or perhaps you're like, oh, that mushroom pasta dish sounds good, but make my own pasta. You must be crazy. Don't worry, we've got you covered. You can skip to where you need to be with the timestamps in the description. Hi, I'm Liv and welcome to The Leopard Lodge. This channel is all about things kitchen and home. First up, we have a beautiful herb laminated pasta dough. Now, I do have a whole video dedicated to fresh pasta dough where I go into detail about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how to roll your pasta out by hand. Not to mention a delicious whiskey sour recipe and a full tutorial on how to use a hand crank machine can be found in my pumpkin ravioli video. So if you haven't seen those, go check them out, get caught up, and uh, cue the pasta making montage. I was rolling things out on the machine, I took it up to a five, just FYI. Also keep in mind that all pasta machines are different, but that's how it works on my machine. Now let's pick some herbs away from their hard stems. I've got mint, parsley, and dill, but you can use whatever you want. Okay, let's jump back over to this rolled out pasta. I'm going to fold my sheets in half. This is going to give me an idea of where the center is because we're only going to put herbs on one side. I'm tearing my herbs into smaller pieces. You don't actually really have to do that if you don't want to. I just thought it would look nice, but you can keep them bigger if you want. Have fun with it. Make a cool design. As you can see, I've added some edible flowers as well. I would stick to soft herbs, not hard herbs. If you remember in my green soup video, we talked about soft herbs versus hard herbs. So I would stick to soft herbs. You're not gonna get a ton of flavor from these herbs. They're really more just pretty. But you know I love a good excuse to make something pretty for no good reason. When things are arranged as you would like them, Fold the empty half on top over the herbs. And run this through the machine on five again. Remember laminators? Do they still use those? Well, this is exactly the same concept. The dough is acting like the outer plastic to preserve the herbs. So at this point, you could make ravioli out of these gorgeous sheets of herbs. And if you were going to do that, I would take it up an additional notch, up to six, so that you get it really nice and thin. Honestly, I think that making ravioli with this dough is the best use for it. Otherwise, it may not really be quite as worth your effort. But I'm going to cut them up today because ravioli making was not in the cards for me today. Fold up each sheet over itself until I have something that's about three inches wide. And I usually clean up the edges and then cut into even strips. You can also line up two at a time. Now let's cook these. I'm getting hungry. Okay. okay, prep first, prep first. Hold on. All right. These are called fava beans. They have these big, fat, soft pods. 
and big beans inside. And I am going to sit here and shell them and then blanch them in salty water for two minutes. Pull them out and dunk them in ice water. Let that cool for a few minutes. Because guess what? We have to shell again. I'm sorry. The trick here is to sort of squeeze one end, which usually will create a tear. And then you can squeeze out that beautiful, bright green bean. If you can't find favas, or you're like, sorry Liv, I'm not gonna do all of that, you could substitute peas. I'll try not to judge. Okay, hard part's over. Slice up some shallots, as well as some crimini mushrooms, or feel free to get fancy and get some other kind of mushroom. Go ahead and saute up those shallots, scoop them out of the pan, crank up the heat, add some oil, and cook those mushrooms until brown. Tab of butter, favas, shallots, salt, pepper. Bring a pot of water to a boil and cook your pasta until al dente. Reserving some pasta water for later. I would definitely suggest adding some more butter and melting this with a little bit of that pasta water to create a beautiful, silky married sauce. Plate that pasta with a drizzle of creme fraiche. It's like bougie French sour cream, but thicker and less tangy and won't curdle on hot things. Or you could add a little bit of cream to your sour cream, take down that tanginess. That's what I did. Chopped mint and parsley and some more flowers. Enjoy! The footage of me eating was lost. Don't know where it went. I did eat on camera but it was delicious and I highly recommend making it. And that is all I have to say. See you in the next one.